If you want to edit in DaVinci Resolve in sync with music or if you want to edit the music itself, so like making it shorter or rearranging the different sections of a song, then you should absolutely take a look at Beat Edit for DaVinci Resolve. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and I have an audio track already in the timeline and I want to show you how easy it is to edit clips in sync with the music with our extension Beat Edit. In addition, you will also learn how to edit the music itself, such that you have full control how long the song is, or for example how to rearrange different sections of a song to control where it gets more or less intense. Once it is installed, you find Beat Edit in the menu Workspace in the section Scripts Mamo World. In the Beat Edit panel, you first need to click on Choose File to choose the audio file you want to work with. Now the fully automatic beat detection is performed and after that you can choose here what you actually want to do with those beats. Let's start with creating beat clicks. You just choose the name for an audio file, which I keep at its default here, and click on Save File. Now BeatEdit opens my file browser and I can drag the new beat click audio file right inside my timeline. As you can hear, the beat clicks give you kind of a metronome now right inside the timeline. If I mute the music, you can hear the beat clicks even better. So you can hear and see now exactly where the beats of your music are. So if we zoom in here, you can now see very accurately where the beats of the music are and these are the points in time where cuts in the video feel very natural. In addition to the beat clicks, you can also create beat markers. Timeline markers show up here at the top of the timeline. Now I went a bit ahead in time and added some sample clips in my timeline. Note that the clips all start and end at markers and to make this process very easy just make sure to enable the snapping option here such that as you can see then the clips snap to the markers while I edit them. If I play this back please see and listen where the cuts are and I'm sure you feel how well the cuts fit to the music in particular now when you've got these quick changes it really makes a big difference if those cuts are synced to the beat or not. So, so syncing cuts accurately to the beat is so much easier with these markers now. The most powerful feature of Beat Edit is that you can use it to edit the music itself. Let's say we want to remove some part of the song to make it shorter. So we zoom in here where we want to do our first cut. And now we have here our markers and those markers have eight different colors. And in this case, the green marker is always at the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's like the green is always on one and we want to cut on the one. So we want to cut on this one here, for example. And I zoom in very, very closely, as close as I can. And you can see here, this is a duration of one frame now. and if you edit music, please don't cut at the markers because markers are always at frame boundaries. This is always the case in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, but we want to be even more accurate because for cutting the music, this is not accurate enough to cut here at the marker. So where we want to actually cut is at the peak we see in our metronome, in our click file. Yeah, this is like subframe accurate. And now we go to another green marker here at the end of the part which we want to remove. Let's use this one here for example, move it as close as possible. And here you see now that by just looking at the waveform of the song itself, you would have no idea where to cut. But with our click sounds, it becomes super easy. And now we can zoom out again. And I go back to my normal tool here and just delete this entire part. And now let's listen to the transition. And you can see that it's absolutely not audible. This is really how easy it is to do 100% accurate cuts in your music that go totally unnoticed. Of course, if you cut between parts of the music that have a very different loudness or so, it will be noticeable to some extent. Then it could help to right click on this cut here and choose a, let's say, 12 frames crossfade. Uh, this makes it even less obvious, but you can see with these peaks here of our metronome, it's super easy to cut the waveform at exactly the right places, to cut your song into individual segments, and then you can delete segments or also change their order, whatever, to control exactly 
where which part of your song should start, how long the song should be, and so on. So these edits of the music become super easy and in particular super accurate with beat edit. As an alternative to the beat markers, beat edit for Resolve can also create beat subtitles. Here you can choose the name for a subtitle file and beat edit creates a subtitle file in the same folder as the music itself. And now all you need to do is to drag the subtitle file into your timeline and make sure to place it such that it starts exactly at the beginning of the timeline. As you can see, these subtitles give you a detailed beat information right inside the video preview. And also in the timeline, you can see the beats and of course you can also snap to them. The beat information consists of a basic counter and repeating counters which count up to 4, 8 and 16. So you can work with patterns of all typical lengths easily. Finally, Beat Edit can also create clip markers, which are similar to timeline markers, but show up in the audio clip itself instead of the timeline. If you have your clip already in your timeline, the markers will not show up there. But look what happens if we delete the song in the timeline and insert it again. Now we have the markers right on top of the audio clip. So if you prefer to work with clip markers, just make sure to create the markers before you insert the music in the timeline. The advantage of clip markers is that when you move the audio clip, these markers move along with it. Finally, let me tell you about this little quantized checkbox here. By default, BeatEdit assumes that the tempo of the song does not change. This means all beats have exactly the same distance. This is the case for almost all music tracks, but in the unlikely case that the tempo of your song changes over time, you can deactivate this option. I highly recommend to keep it enabled all the time, but in the unlikely case that the prediction is not good, you can try to disable it. And that's really all you need to know about Beat Edit. It will be your great companion to help you with any editing in sync with the music, and I'm sure you will have a lot of fun with it. 